What's up, everybody? Uh, it's Max with Drops on Disc Golf. I'm gonna show you guys what's in my bag today. Um, Sleaf kind of showed his, and Sleaf being a, he's primarily a forehand player. I myself primarily throw backhands. If I can, I'd rather throw that silky turnover. Um, but recently, working on my forehand. So, oh uh, yeah, we'll get right into it first. The bag itself, um, Pound Octothorpe. Awesome bag. Uh, perfect, cool orange color. Um, Stands the test time, had it over a year, and it's still in fantastic shape. So yeah, we'll jump right into it with my putters. First, I've got five P2s, five P2s. Um, we'll start with the putters I'm putting with. Um, I got two bottom stamp below P lines. Uh, the Eagle McMahon from the Kona Pista Open win. Uh, absolutely perfect. These things are money. Um, they look good, they feel good. Great plastic, they fly perfectly. So, putting with these P2s. Um, next... I got three for throwing. Uh, one, super beat up D-line P2. Uh, this is an older run, super beat up, uh, super understable. Just touchy turnover shots, uh, flip up wood stuff. Um, very tricky, very fun to throw. Kind of point it anywhere and it'll kind of handle that line a little bit, but, but it's been beat up. Uh, one cool part about this thing is I got that cool MK logo on there. Um, I got a rubber ink stamp the other day. I've uh, been throwing that on every disc, I think. It's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, so that is the understable P2. Next, I've got a fairly seasoned uh, three-time Macbeth S-Line P2. This is a gem, looks fantastic. Uh, this is kind of that point shoot where the tick integrity um, there at the finish um, can rip on it straight. It's just gonna ride straight. Um, maybe with a tick of fade, um, kind of pending how, what the angle I put it on, but very straight, very fun to throw. Point shoot, S-Line P2. Then to round it out, this is the overstable of the bunch. This is a Swirly Sky God 2. Um, this thing is gorgeous, and this is very overstable. Um, some cool swirls in the back. It's got that cool blue rim. Just overstable throwing putter that I've been loving. Love that run of P2. Um, next, I've got a newer approach disc. This is new to my bag this season. Um, I got the zone. Loving the zone. Super flat, super overstable. Perfect for the forehand approach shots. So my go-to actually is a jawbreaker. Um, this is pretty beat up. Uh, just kind of those standstill forehand approach shots, just kind of looking at the basket, needing to get it close. Something I'm not gonna run with the putt, something that's a little too far, maybe under feet, something like that. Um, just those kind of super, super touchy straight approach shots, something where I know I'm, I'm not gonna putt it. Um, and then I think this is, a, this is a max weight, 173, 174. All those P2s are max weight as well, except for the white one, white one's probably super beat up. Um, another max weight zone, but this is a Z plastic with that cool Macbeth stamp. Um, this thing is absolutely, and it's just a brick, honestly. Uh, thinking about trying an MD5 over this one. Um, I don't find myself reaching for this too often, um, mainly because I don't really need to. I have that jawbreakers to go to. Um, don't backhand these a whole lot. Thinking I would be able to backhand the MD5 a little bit as well, um, but we'll see. So really MD5s come out next week. Um, so I'm going to be getting a pair of those, but we'll see. That, that might take the place of the Z zone. Um, mid ranges. This is actually the same lineup that I threw starting the season. Um, same exact four. Uh, we'll just run through it quick. Um, super beat up P line, under stable. Don't throw it a whole lot here in Colorado because there's not a lot of woods. Um, but yeah, super under stable, touchy, flippy, fun to throw. MD3. Um, another P line. This is beaten up over the season, super straight, can rip on it flat, and it'll just kind of slide to the right. Love throwing this guy. Um, the go-to MD3 is still this old glow C-line, super straight, can really torque on it, it's just gonna ride straight, not veer off the line a whole lot. Um, just very trusty. And then the Wind Fighter is this uh, Eagle McBan. This is a 5503 with some decent dome on it, just the overstable of the bunch, starting to beat in a little bit. Um, might replace this with something fresh next season but we'll see this is just a money flyer for me straight with that ticket fade at the end um fairways i've got a few molds in here um so we'll go from slowest to fastest uh got two fds we'll start with the understable one this is a d-line fd super tricky shots rollers um i've been messing around with the sunburn a little bit but that's how the rim kind of feels funky on those that active uh sunburn sunbird Sunburn, what am I saying? Um, so super understable, testing out the rollers, tricky wood shots, um, just get out, get out of jail disc. 
And then the other FDE is this old swirly S-Line Supreme Flight. Shout out to Stevie G, hooked it up on this one. Um, super beat up, super straight to understable rip on a flat. It's just gonna slide to the right. Um, wood shots, pop it up. Um, just very fun to throw. Don't know that I'll ever take out an FD, um, but if I did, it's the next disc and I'll kind of jump into that. Um, the Color Glow C-Line FD2s that uh, Disc Mania released this year, incredibly underrated disc with kind of all that evolution stuff they have going on. This disc is absolute money. Um, it's definitely got that second run FD vibe that everybody was looking for. Super flat, the rim feels great, great plastic. Um, I was bagging the Instincts for a while and these and it was kind of back and forth what did I want to throw what did I not need um, and these took the spot because these I back in forehandies um, they're perfect uh, my forehand's not the greatest so I can really just kind of power down on these just let it let it out smooth and it'll just kind of fade to the right um, so yeah I've got a 171 here and a 175 just the 171's that's a tick less stable than the 175 but I absolutely love these excited for that C line run to come out the next fairway in my bag is the fd3 this is the oddball this is a forehand only disc probably the only disc in my bag that i only use for forehands um but this thing is just beefy it's super flat it feels great it's a cool lazat stamp pretty swirly pretty neat um but yeah just those overstable forehands where i just kind of rip on it flat and it just ends up dumping to the right Got dogs peeking in the window behind you um and then lastly this is my go-to overstable fairway is the fd3 the glow sea lines um, you can see they got the cool stamp on there. It's a pretty sweet little magic pair, um, but had this one in the bag the most. This has been over a year, and then this one I just added because I don't want to beat this one up too much. I don't want to lose one. The go-to overstable fairways, spike hyzers, you name it. Um, very beefy, fits the slot perfectly. Love throwing glow sea lines. That plastic is fantastic. Um, next, the newest mold to my bag is the PD. Um, I had an issue this summer where I was looking for something that's kind of that 9 to 10 speed fairway driver that I can really just power up on. It's just going to ride straight. It's going to have that integrity or something that maybe I can flip it up and it'll turn. I was bagging DDs and that 11 speed was a little too fast and then the instincts were too slow. So Sleaf said, oh dude, throw the PD. I was like, what the hell? I've been missing out on the PD for this long. Um, so we'll just kind of run through them. I got three. They kind of each fit, fit each slot. This is the, the understable of three. This is an old swirly penned S-line. Um, shout out to Sleeve. He got this in our first mystery box we did together back in our sophomore year of college, junior year. But I mean, he never got rid of it. And I was like, yo, you still got that? He's like, yep. And he sent it right over. Um, this thing is absolute money. Beat into perfection. Forehands and backhands alike. Just rip on it flat. It's just going to kind of drift to the right and just land flat. Um, forehands, it's also nice too. I can kind of power up on it. It's just going to ride straight. And then a longer FD2 essentially. Um, love this old run. This is beat to perfection. So that's the Penn S line. Um, this is the go-to PD though. This is the Lone Howl from Colton Montgomery this season. Um, shout out to the Colton, Colorado guy. Absolutely love this run, super flat. Plastic feels great, they look good. The stamp's cool, um, forehand and backhand alike. This is just gonna be a tick more stable than that other S line. Um, it just, it'll finish to the left. If I kind of throw it flat, it'll maybe drift to the right, but it'll always kind of finish back there to the left. But absolutely love this one. Um, also forehanding this, again, longer FD2, but can really get on it and trust that it's going to go straight and just going to finish to the right on forehand. And then the overstable to the PDs, this is a third run C-line. Uh, shout out to Rob Park, another Colorado guy, hooked me up with this one. He's a disc maniac as well. Uh, just the overstable component to all the PDs I've got in the bag right now. Uh, fits the slot perfectly, it feels good. Um, just great plastic, love these. Um, didn't want to get into the third run hype, but I did. I also picked up a first one from Rob. That's in out of the bag. These, uh, the old plastic is just, it's awesome. Love the old stuff. Uh, next, we'll jump into distance drivers. I've got two oddballs I'll run through quick first. Um, this is a Forge Enigma. Great disc, um, a little squirrely, but for what I'm looking for, this fits the slot right now where it's kind of that rip on it straight and it's gonna to turn to the right. Um, distance driver, uh, don't throw it a whole lot. Just kind of in there so until I get the, the DD3s beat in. So, yeah, that is the kind of understable distance driver right now. Don't throw it a whole lot, but do know that I have it if I need it. And then, other side of the spectrum is a fire truck. This thing is a brick. This is a Luster PD2. Shout out to Roly. Uh, Jacob Roly hooked me up with this one. 
super flat, super, super overstable. Can't stress that enough. Didn't have a PD2 in my bag, didn't think I was gonna need one. Added this to the bag and then instantly started getting some use. So yeah, just that overstable luster sea line PD2, super flat, very, very overstable. And then kind of in between those is my go-to distance drive right now. These are the, this is DD3. I've got a couple claw breakers, a couple S-line DD3s in here. I'll run through quick. Um, I've got two stock S-line DD3s, both 175. Shout out to Mike Kemp for the dope Star Wars die. You can see the Empire um, logo. Just super bomber DD3s. Um, not a whole lot of dome on these but they do have a really good amount of glide. Um, love throwing these, really rip on them. They'll get that full max distance, um, that max distance S curve you're looking for. Uh, absolutely love these, this plastic feels fantastic. Um, so yeah, these are my go-to distance drivers with kind of no wind or a tailwind because um, they're a little squirrely at the moment. They both beat in pretty well. Might kick that Enigma out here soon. And then next I've got three cloud breakers. We'll run to the GOAT. These are my go-to distance drivers right now. Um, any type of shot, I can really rip on them kind of on that Anheuser and they'll just kind of push forward, get that max distance, but they're always gonna finish to the left. The other two, you never know. Um, but these two will definitely finish to the left. Uh, I got these awesome, sec these are the second round cloud breakers, the ones that came out right after the prototypes. So these were the ones that sold out right away. Absolutely love these two. That's my favorite run by far at the moment. And then this is another one. This is another second run. Shout out to Sleep Dog again. He hooked me up with this dope Star Wars die. Um, it was an ugly cloud breaker, but the die makes it look insanely cool. Um, but this is a tick more dome than the other ones. And this is the overstable cloud breaker. I will throw this one in the wind. I'll throw the other ones too in a little bit of a headwind, but if, if it's any decent headwind, I'm going to reach for this guy. Super overstable. Um, fits the gap between the PD2 and the TD3s perfectly. Um, so yeah, that's the overstable. The three cloud breakers I mentioned are also all 175. Um, been dabbling with a couple of 170s, um, but those are from the, the third run, so they're a tick more overstable. Um, but have a one with blizzard rim that I'm hoping to beat in a little bit more. Um, so yeah, that's all the discs that are in the bag. Um, I've got a tournament bag. I know Sleeve ran through his. I think I'm going to save mine for another video. It's a little bit bigger, and I think I might show off the whole collection. Um, might be kind of fun to make that a video. Let me know if you want to see that in the comments below. I think it would be cool, but if you guys um, want to see other stuff, let me know. Um, as for the bag, got a couple keychains, Star Wars, Toy Story, got a Cubs World Series ring right here. And I've got some pins from Disney, Tim the Tatman, Star Wars, a chicken, and a Mickey Mouse. And then just kind of a typical disc golf bag, a bunch of bag tags. And a bunch of towels. I've got two towels here, pens, markers. Oh, another cool thing. This is my ink stamp. Uh, I just picked this up. Um, super cool. He saw it on some of those discs. Very fun to just stamp on everything. So yeah, that's everything in my bag. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, let us know what you think. Let us let me know specifically if there's anything you think I should add to the bag. Um, there's a lot of stuff in there right now. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna try out those Swirly MD5s that come out here in the next couple days. Those are gonna be super overstable. I don't really back in the zones a whole lot, but that jawbreaker is awesome. So we'll see, might cycle, might pull out the Z as at an MD5, we'll see, I don't know. Um, again, a lot of Discmania stuff, huge Discmania uh, fan and kind of follower. Uh, big fan of the, what they're doing at the company and kind of how they handle the customers and develop discs and grow the sport. Um, so yeah, that's everything that's in my bag. Oh, lastly, uh, my Dubuque Disc Golf Mini. Got to represent the Dubuque Disc Golf scene. Uh, kind of where I started playing the game. Sky Miller was my coach, my mentor, got me into the game. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, look forward to posting some more content, get you guys to see some more of our videos, and hopefully you're enjoying what you're seeing. So make sure you guys stay out of the drop zone.